So I really wanted to get like face shots for the Anna Luisa shoot. And um, baby, like she is get Hello gems, it's a girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another mother freaking vlog, baby. Um, oh, wait a minute. So this is the Fenty Skin um, Hydra Reset Intensive Recovery Hand Mask. And a lot of these like masks, I really use like regular stuff like lip mask and hand mask. I use some like lotions and lip balm. <laughs> But that has like an interesting like applicator. Like maybe I should actually use this as a mask. Yeah, Debbie says use once a day before bed. Not use whenever your hands are ashy, Jamila. <laughs> and it has that signature Fenty smell. Very light, but very nice. Um, it's a little on the tacky side. Interesting. Um very interesting y'all my nails are like long overdue for being done and I really should have gone to sleep but I was just like really busy so I think I'm gonna go next week one of the perks of having like a natural colored base I wasn't even realizing like how bad I needed to fill in and because I can't really see the new growth it's not super obvious like it's very easy for me to overlook it so that's a win for me but I definitely need to get them done next week, though. For sure. Like, I can't go any longer. But, um, yeah. So, we have a fun weekend ahead of us. I am dedicating today to work because tomorrow is going to be play. Um, we're celebrating Kim's birthday tomorrow. So, I'm going to help her with that. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the festivities. First of all, my lips are chat. Let's deal with that first. First, um, <coughs> sorry if I'm like coughing or I sound weird or I'm like sniffling. Um, I have a cold. Um, courtesy of my niece and her friends. <laughs> um, my niece stayed with me last weekend, and I mean she was sick. We knew she was sick. My sister took her to the doctor to make sure it wasn't like cold or anything, but it was just um, a cold. So I was like, you know what? That's fine. Send her to me. Auntie Mima. But um, I have a trash immune system, so you know, well, I'm sure she's off kiki and enjoying the time of her life. I am now sick. And toddlers just cough so nasty. Like these black <coughs> <coughs> everywhere. I'm trying to teach her like no cough like this. Girl, the toddlers are taking us out the game, like. Can y'all cough right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, where is my lip gloss? Like, what is happening? What is happening? Um, I am going to do my makeup. I did a little retail therapy. Um, I shopped from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, then I went to Ulta and Target to look for some makeup. Uh, just because I feel like my makeup routine is getting very boring. And I just want to try some new things. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution Hydra Balm. This is one of my favorite clear glosses. Um, I have one that I keep in my car. So I got more. <laughs> I want one I can keep in my purse and one like in the house. So am I dramatic? Yes, yes I am. I really like it though. I'm sitting here talking to y'all with chat lips. Like, girl, very cute. Um, I'm also going to film a sponsorship portion for the vlog before this one. So I'm also going to be filming a sponsorship portion for the vlog before this one. Um, I already filmed that vlog. I just have to film the sponsorship portion and put it in the beginning. So if you see this outfit twice, that's why. Okay. Um, but yeah. So, I'm going to do my makeup. 
drinking my second cup of coffee for the day. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm trying some new coffee. Um, I got some Starbucks K-Cups and I actually like read the descriptions of the flavors and this one's supposed to be cocoa and toffee and I mixed that with my silk creamer. It's a medium roast but it's giving dark roast low-key. Um, yeah. Anyways. Let's get started. But before we do that, shout out to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this very quick portion of the video. Um, I'm going to wear some of their jewelry pieces. Honestly, Anna Luisa is your go-to place for like dainty feminine jewelry. And they're affordable. They're not like crazy expensive. And they're running sales all throughout the month of November and December. I just feel like they have the perfect everyday jewelry, but it still pops. Like, look at this, y'all. Don't mind the nails. Mind your business. But get into the jewelry. Like, I love cute pieces like this because even if I'm in a rush or something and I don't have time to change my earrings into something maybe more flashy or more dramatic to match the outfit, these pieces are still getting the job done. Like, they're still standing out. Like, I love this. It has a daintiness of this little hoop here, but then like this little chain detail catches the eye. I just feel like that's super cute. Like, I love that. And even though I haven't really been wearing like my ear cuffs as much, they have ear cuffs, y'all. Like, get into it. And this is like my vibe. And it feels so sturdy, like, baby. And I get all my earrings at least sturdy silver because, child, like, my earrings have not caught up to my uh my budget yet so they're still like disrespectful um i need them to come down like relax um but yeah so i'm these are quality pieces y'all they're not gonna turn green your your skin is not gonna start swelling okay just the thought of copper ooh, which i love is making my ears swell now they do have beautiful brass pieces but for me personally i have to stick to sterling silver and so y'all know whenever i can find affordable jewelry like i love jewelry period and i feel like for the right pieces i will spend money but when you can find beautiful pieces at a fraction of the cost like can we get into it though like for real though for real look at this cuff oh my god i'm obsessed with this like I really love that edgy look and I feel like these cuffs give it to me and I don't have to pierce my ears because y'all this piercing took like a year to heal like people be like oh six weeks ka, ka, ka. no no my my ears don't heal like that but I did get the matching earrings like can you imagine actually I think we'll wear these oh I love these it's like the small hoops but it's like it packs a punch and so you know adding this with the cuff baby oh i love it so 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 much so i will have all the information that you need in the description below but baby like what 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 is there not to look look it like these are simple hoops but i just love them like they're thin they're lightweight quality reasonably priced like what what is there not to love so if you are looking for some cute pieces for yourself or maybe some cute pieces to gift um go ahead and check out Anna Luisa all the information once again will be in the description below um and that's that baby so let's get started dang I didn't say I was gonna wear these right but I kind of want to wear these too oh it's the options for me oh my god what do I want to wear Darn, I really like the. I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna do these. Look it. Oh, that is so cute. And like, you can sleep in these. Oh, I might leave these in for a little while. Yeah. I really like dangly earrings like these. I have a couple in my collection now. This one's a little more understated, a little more less flashy, but she's still razzle dazzle, baby. Okay. Do not underestimate her by any means. And let's add the cuff for a razzle dazzle. Y'all, I am obsessed with this. Like, oh my God. Ooh, I love a cuff. I really wish I could just pierce it, but child, the way I heal. Oh! 
Love that for me. Love that for me. Okay. I'm going to show you some of the items that I got, starting with the Sephora VIB sale. So some items I purchased and some I got with my like points and stuff. So let's get into it, baby. So first things first, I got a couple of sunscreens. Um, I've really been on my sunscreen kick, um, which is ironic because you think I'd really be into it during the summer. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, you know what? Year round, sunscreen is your best friend, okay? I'm telling y'all, I'm really trying to work on my skin, trying to get my skin together. And I know I mentioned that I was trying out some new products. Ciao. I went back to my old faithful for one night. My skin, boom, flourishing. Like, to me, my fan broke. Why are you trying to fix it? Because I'm a product junkie. That's why. And I love trying new products. And I probably will keep trying them until I die. But at least I know I have a staple set routine that'll get the job done when I need it to. So, um, this is not part of the, of the Sephora set. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save this because I think I need to do a sunscreen video. Like, black skin friendly uh, sunscreens because I have been adding some to my collection and I am enjoying them immensely okay so first we have the polish choice youth extending daily hydrating fluid and this has SPS 50 in it with antioxidants soothing plant extracts um, and I really like this because um, it gives me sunscreen vibes but it's actually pretty similar in the dry down um to one of my favorite sunscreens that i've been using for quite some time now and i they actually don't sell it in the u.s um like i can't even read the packaging i don't know if it, what language is in but it's from like an asian country I, damn Jimmy, if you show all the stuff now what's the point of doing a video I'm still to do the video though, but yeah, it's the Nivea Sun Super Water Gel SPF 50. And I get this on Amazon. Like, child, when I tell you, I don't even know what they're saying. But this is fire. Like, fire. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. Um, and this formula kind of reminds me of that. Like, it's a little more milky. But the dry down, the way it, it absorbs into the skin, very similar. So, definitely like this. Um, for nor normal to oily combination, which is right up my alley. Love that. Child, not my battery dying. <laughs> okay, so um, the next moisturizer I got is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hy Hy Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. And this has SPS 45 in it. And it says it's good for ultimate anti-aging prevention and um, helps lock in hydration for up to 72 hours. So this is what the packaging looks like. I have the bottle here. It's what I have on my skin now. And I feel like it's giving the girls a glow. And I like that. I really like that. Like this glow is reminiscent, dare I say, of my Tula. Like my Tula? My Tula's up here, baby. Is this giving me a similar glow? Like, I... And then now with this one, when I first put it on, I was like, oh, is that Casper? But then you just rub it into your skin and boom, it disappears. So, so far, I've only used each of these one time. But so far, baby, it's giving very much so brown skin friendly. Brown skin girls. Skin just like pearls. <laughs> But I was like, yes, I am here for these. And I really wanted a moisturizer with SPF in it because I'm just like, bruh, having to do moisturizer and then SPF, it's just, I'm trying to limit the amount of work that I have to do, okay? This is not even like the fun stuff. Like the serums and the toners and stuff, that's the fun stuff in the skincare. Like the SPF, that ain't fun. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I've been looking for good moisturizers with SPF already built into it. So I'm really glad that I found those two. Um, and then I got a sample of the Shiseido uh, Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector, SPF 42 for face, and it's water resistant. This is like straight up sunscreen, I believe. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know how this works, but I was like, Shiseido, really good skincare brand, so we finna try her at some point, but yeah. And then I got a sample of the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I really wanted to try this. And I just, I've held off on trying this because I'm like, what if I fall in love? Like right now, I use the Palmer's Cleansing Oil and it works 
beautifully and it's like six dollars at target like it takes off the waterproof makeup like nothing else compares to it in a drugstore and i've tried nothing else compares so i'm like if it's popping why am i gonna try something that's more expensive that i'm gonna fall in love with and then i'm gonna be over here buying an expensive one and sell the six dollar one it's the way i set myself up for me like you mean what happened to financial greatness <laughs> what happened to budget a budget i don't know her i don't know her because here i am about to try it out most likely gonna fall in love because everybody swears by it I don't know. Moving on. Um, I got the YSL Rouge Volupt uh, Shine Oil and Stick. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's a little too sheer for me. I thought it was going to give me a little more color. Um, I was here for the oil and stick. I thought it was going to be cute. I mean, it's like, it's a lip balm. Barely tinted. Like, child, I'm not paying YSL coins for a lip balm so honey she she's not gonna make the cut i'm i'm sorry to this man but it's giving very much so lip balm like i'm not comprehending the purpose <laughs> now i haven't tried it so for all i know i could fall in love with it and i'm gonna watch this clip like girl you a dummy <laughs> but yeah so last but not least i got some huda beauty lipsticks um, I really enjoy her formula, well, her matte lipstick formulas. I tried the glow and cream ones, and they're not my favorite. But the mattes, they just make my lips look so plush and juicy because they're like a comfortable matte. Like, I don't understand what she puts in the lipsticks, but my lips just be looking like... Girl. <laughs> she be having my lips like... Who the... Huda Beauty. I don't know what it is, child. But I was like, while we having a sale, let me go ahead and stock up. Um, I don't know what I do with my bullet lipsticks, y'all. I feel like ever since I moved, I haven't really seen my lipsticks. And I feel like they might still be packed away somewhere. And I don't know where. Or like hidden in a bag. <gasps> no, I did have a bag of lips. Actually, now that I mention it, I did have a bag with my lip products in it. Where is it? Y'all, when I tell y'all, I went through my whole lips organizer and I reorganized them. I'm like, these are only glosses. Where are my bullet lipsticks? Are my MAC lipsticks? My Maybelline lipsticks? My Huda Beauty? Like, where are my lipsticks? Oh my gosh. I need to find them. Because I'm like, I'm scared. Like, what if I already have these? I'm be real safe. I bought a shade that I already have. And I try to go through my Sephora history. And I'm not seeing any of my Huda Beauty purchases. So I'm just like, it's a scam. Like, did I not get my points for these purchases? I don't know. But anyways, I have game night. I have interview. I have anniversary. And I have girls trip. So that was it for my Sephora. Um, my Sephora VIB haul. Are you going to focus or no? Like, stop playing with the kid. Yeah, so next, let's go to Tajay. Hmm. So Target was a little bit all over the place, but I really went mainly for like complexion products because as much as I love like Sephora and all that stuff, I feel like my best complexion products, like my favorites are in the drugstore. Um, I got some Ricola, <laughs> which I need to take right now, honestly, because child, oof. And then I got the, <coughs> you see, that's what I'm talking about. I need that Ricola. Um, but I got the Olay Moisturizer SPF 30. This is actually what I had um, before, which I was sent via Influencer. 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 They like send you products for you to try out and leave reviews and stuff. And then I actually liked it. And I got this in case these products didn't work out. But now that these are working out, I'm like, well, adding another one to the collection. You can never have too much moisturizer with SPF. Like, you really can't. I got the Vicks <laughs> Vapor Bath Bath Crystals. I really wanted the shower tablets, but my target was out. Um, so, child, I'm going to be uh, Vixing it up in the, in the shower later, okay? Because it's giving what? Sick. Ugh. All right. Next, I got this Holler and Glow Petty Mask, a soft mask. I've never tried this brand. I'm not sure if this is the one that makes your feet peel. I kind of hope it's not. 
Oh, yes, it is. Dead skin will start to peel away gradually within 7 to 10 days after application. Okay. Resist applying moisturizing cream within this time. Oh, really? All areas of the skin where the liquid has touched will peel and clean the soft skin on the upper foot of the part. Soft skin on the upper part of the foot? Oh. Oh. To speed up the peeling process, rub the feet with a washcloth to assist removal whilst showering or bathing. Not the upper skin of the foot. Baby, that sounds like a hazard. Not the upper skin of the foot, like my skin skin? What in the snake? Okay, listen. Move like a snake. Like a snake. Move like a snake. <laughs> Peel like a snake. <laughs> All right. Um, next, I got the Revolution uh, Glass Skin Primer, which gives you the ultimate dewy finish. I've never heard anything about this, but I was like, okay, dewy finish. Zoe finish now I'm naturally oily okay my t-zone very much so gets oily but in the winter the dry parts of my face gets very much dry so I do like to mix and match my primers I use a moisturizing primer all over and then a mattifying one in the center so we're gonna see what this what this does okay they said a Zoe finish so we're gonna say she's Zoe or not okay Next, we have the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer, and I got this in shade 360. I don't know how that color match is going to go, plus this is definitely pulling red. Clearly, I was not paying too much attention, but you know, it's a lot of brands, especially drugstore brands, no, a lot of brands in general, deeper shades mainly come in red, and I'm just like, can y'all give the yellow girls some undertones? Can y'all give us some undertones? Thanks. Oh, brother. All right. So, y'all, I had to practice all kinds of restraints, okay? Y'all know the Makeup Revolution glosses are some of my favorites. And I was like, the girls came out with Shimmer. The girls came out with uh, new collections. The, uh, Friends has a, a collection with um, Makeup Revolution. And I got Monica. Um, and I was like, these shimmers, maybe? And then I'm like, coffee? I don't have this beautiful brownie reddish cup gorgeous but i was like oh my god jimmy my relax 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 grab one or two shimmers max because you don't even know if they're gonna shimmer the way you want them to shimmer okay don't be getting all these glosses and none of them give you that shimmy so i was like let me relax and just get these and call it a day and i also got this peachy one so we're gonna see if she hits or not um, so like I said, I haven't been able to find all my lipsticks. And I feel like even if I do find them, like they're probably expired. <laughs> so I went ahead and got some more Maybelline lipsticks. Maybelline lipsticks are probably my favorite bullet lipsticks in the drugstore. And I got a whole bunch of like nudie pinky shades. Um, they're probably going to match my Huda Beauty lipsticks. But, you know, it's it's the obsession for me. It's really the obsession for me. Okay. Um, don't judge me. Judge your mom. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Next on the docket, um, I grabbed some Makeup Revolution eyebrow pencils. Never tried these before. I got it in the shades medium brown and dark brown. Um, I feel like medium brown is more my vibe, but yeah, it is looking a little light, actually. Glad I got both. And. Uh, <coughs> oh. This is actually part of my Sephora haul. I got the sample of the Josie Marin with Argan Oil. Because I felt like I judged the last tube a little too harshly. And I I find that I do that a lot. And I feel like it's a trauma response. Like, I love products and I love trying new things. But then I hate loving them and then having to always buy them. And so at the first sign of a slight or even misperceived imperfection, I was like, oh, I don't want it. I don't like it. <laughs> like, I have a real problem. So I was like, Jimmy Mug, can you relax and give this a real try? Because one of my favorite moisturizers now, uh, the Flamingo one from Target, um, when you first put it on, it's very underwhelming. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything, but then give it an hour. Oh my god, your skin feels marvelous. Like, I'm just like, Jamima, if you judge everything from the first second you apply it, you're going to miss out on so many 
great amazing products so i was like this is the best way for me to try it okay i just used my points got this as a reward from sephora just use it so it's like you're doing too much you're doing too much <laughs> it's me judging myself for me okay last but not least we have ulta here this is the longest haul of life i promise you child um i got the morphe sponge and brush duo i don't actually like the morphe sponge so i just got it for the brush um yeah i really don't like their sponge i actually find this particular sponge to be um disgusting but the brush though phenomenal phenomenal um i went back to old school kat von d okay I talked about her in the last vlog and it brought back memories. And I was like, wow, when was the last time I even attempted an eyeliner? Like a winged eyeliner look. Child, Jamima, you I mean, I probably don't even know how to do it anymore. Very sad. Um, I grabbed the Clinique Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum. Uh, is there a name to this? just makeup okay i guess it's like a more foundation <sighs> was this like a tinted moisturizer or foundation i don't remember exactly but i got it in the shade um mocha i don't really know <sighs> i'm in a weird color space right now so we're gonna see if this matches me or not i just i don't know I don't know. And I got the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer in the shade Golden. Um, I really hope this works out for me. Ooh, might be a little too bright, but we gonna see. We gonna see. I also got the Derma Blend Cover Care Full Coverage Concealer. And I got this in the shade N58, 58N. I think like they were all neutral. So I don't know. We're going to see this. I think that the tone. I don't know. We're going to see. We're just going to see. we just going to see. Because I can't talk until I put it on. And then more of the lip glosses. Yikes. And then I got the Mented Balm Away Coconut Lip Treatment. Just because it's black owned. Okay. Got to support. Um, but yeah. I was like, this might be a nice little chapstick. I'm obsessed with lip products. As you can tell, I feel like half of this haul from every single place was a lip product or like what in the world okay oh and then i got the smashbox um lip liner in the shade like dark brown shout out to the higher end brands finally acknowledging that black women need brown liners like y'all are actually a joke yeah yeah to the people that are not watching this video you should because y'all are actually a joke and it took way too long for y'all to finally bring brown lip liners to Sephora. Like it's actually a joke. Like y'all had us using eyeliners. It's disrespectful. It's like most of y'all's uh, shade range. Um, I also got the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I got this in the shade 80 Deep. I got a lot of complexion products. Oh, today's face is going to be interesting, baby. Interesting. Then I got the Hangover Pillow Balm. I have no idea why I got this. I just, it was there and I grabbed it. It's a con. It's a scam. They do that on purpose. They put it, all the products right there at the checkout line. I got the Makeup Revolution Overnight Lip Mask. All these lip products. Child. Just my lips to be crusty when I come on camera ghetto okay once again products that got me at the counter i got some more mac lipsticks i just felt like we had to do it one time for the ogs okay we had to do it one time for old school youtube i had to bring back uh velvet teddy and whirl and mer is that mer mer <laughs> oh my god Mer. <laughs> um, but I was like, come on, world. What was that my favorite one? Taupe? Oh man, I wear that lipstick down, child. <sighs> no memories. Anyways, ooh, there's a lot of makeup in front of me right now. We need to get started on this face, child, because I have a lot of work to do today. 
and it's already laid. But first of all, let me get a damn Ricola because Ricola. Since I am not making it at all, at all. So now that the face is done, I'm gonna go ahead and get some work done and I will see y'all in a few. Baby, this lip gloss, oh. Can y'all see it? Oh. I feel like I never really get like enough foundation on the corner of my lip. But um, I'm gonna go get, get the rest of the shades. <laughs> it's just, it's giving go by the rest of the shades. I played it safe. Um, I played it safe and only got two shades. But she's doing what she needs to do. She's doing she's doing what she needs to do. Okay. Um, she's not Pat McGrath, but she's right underneath her at a fraction of the cost. Okay. Love to see it. All right, y'all. Let me get some right done. Okay, so um, I filmed one video. I barely made it through that. I cannot film the second one. Like, I kept stopping and starting, stopping and starting. I keep, like, having these cough attacks. Child, listen. <laughs> Throat dry as hell. So, I just give up. At least I have this video for tomorrow. I'm going to edit that later on. But I got this rack from the Poshmark room. Um, Y'all know Kim hasn't helping me out. And so we took all the clothes that was on this and um, I'm going to focus on this corner, get rid of this bench here and my uh, electronic bin here because I need a place to put packages and stuff so I can organize them for my hauls because child, having everything everywhere is so chaotic for me. Um, dang, this light just... It's supposed to be one of those dimmable lamps, but the light bulb, I feel like it dies so quickly. And so it only goes to the lowest setting now. And that's so annoying because this room is so dark. Like, for what reason is this room so dark? <laughs> but yeah, so basically, I feel like I might low-key have to rearrange my beauty room. But uh, I really like how my videos look, so I'm not looking forward to that. And I'm scared to move my light setup because it's literally in the perfect spot, but... If I move the rack behind here, there's not enough. I'm moving y'all everywhere. I'm sorry. But there's not enough space for me to get, like, behind the setup to get to the stuff in the back. Like. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do. But I do know that I need to be able to get back there to get to my packages and to put packages there with ease. Because if I have to keep, like, moving stuff and, like, that's going to stress me out. Which means I have to change the angle of my videos. That's scary. So we're going to see. This may or may not work out. Um, I I don't know, y'all. I'm a little scared. It's so dark in here. And I don't want to keep putting my, my filming lights on. Because, child, if these light bulbs die, I don't know how to replace them. <laughs> do I have to get whole new lights? Like, how? where do I get these light bulbs at? How do you even change it? Child, I don't know. I feel like I need a second lamp in here. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to figure that out. Um, and I guess I'll let y'all watch. But it's dark though, so you can't even see anything. How y'all going to see? It looks so jumbled right now. This whole section. <laughs> and once I put this rack up, it is going to be very jumbled. It's going to look a lot like how my filming room looked in my last apartment. Which is what I didn't want, but I mean, it, it is what it is. Such is life. <laughs> oh my God, send help. I need to make some more tea, child. Ugh. Hey, Gems. Um, it is like around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <sighs> I'm so sick. <laughs> like, I haven't had a cold in, like, two years since all the whole COVID thing. Um, so I forgot, like, 
I have a trash immune system. So I forgot like how much Coach would be taking me out the game. And we were supposed to be celebrating Kim's birthday today. It was a, a celebrity themed party. I was on class Missy Elliott with the, uh, the black puffy um, outfit girl. I just knew I was gonna wake up today and take together my trash bag with my little puffy coat and get uh, the little glasses from 7-Eleven with the black lip liner. And the I just knew I was gonna be Missy Elliott today. Fast forward, I was like, wait a minute. I had to text Kim at like one in the morning. Cause I took NyQuil last night. It didn't even knock me out. Like I fell asleep, but then I was up at one o'clock like, bruh. <sighs> um, I've been in bed all day. Basically just chugging NyQuil. Um, this is the first time I've sat in a chair <laughs> all day. Um, but baby, like, oh, I forgot how much I hate having colds. Dang. I was like, I'm just gonna stay home because this is not, <laughs> there's no point for me to even be outside right now. So I'm just gonna be in the bed and I hope I can feel better over the next couple of days because like I have work to do. Um, there's a video that I want to go out and film. But I'm like, if I'm not feeling better, I don't even wanna be outside. Like. For one, I don't want to get anybody sick with the cold. Because you remember back before COVID, how it was okay for people to be, like, super sick and still, like, out in public? Like, not even trying? Because at first I told Kim, you know, I'm going to go to the party, but don't be surprised I'm, like, staying back. I'm going to have my mask on, chilling myself, because I don't like spreading colds. People think it's funny. They're, like, <laughs> coughing on you. It's not funny. Like, it never was funny. And it was just okay for people to be sick and coming into the office. Like, no, stay home. I used to hate that mess because, like, it might be a <laughs> for you, but it be take me out the game. Like, I hate it so much. But, um, yeah, so if I'm not feeling better, I'm just going to stay in the house all week. And I'm just like, dang, that means no Thanksgiving hopping. <laughs> um, but, anyways, I just wanted to come in and update you guys. Um, I just knew this ball was going to be lit, right? Bruh, I'm... So mad I'm missing Kim's party. They're gonna have all the fun. Hmm, but that's okay. As much as I wanna be selfish and go anyways, I'm gonna sit my little behind down. Um, oh, let me give you guys an update on the room. So per usual, once I start cleaning, all of a sudden I wanna reorganize stuff and so the room always gets so much worse first before it gets better and so you know i was on a roll i was just adjusting stuff so i could add the rack next thing you know i was like uh let me rearrange some things <laughs> so it doesn't look crazy crazy but i definitely need to come in and finish so i'm trying to resist taking more nyquil because i want to get a little bit of work done today before it knocks me out um yeah i'd um Target delivery, some. Well, I didn't take a real Nyquil last night. I had the, the off brand one. I said, uh uh. <laughs> I need the real, real, okay? So I had the Target delivery, some, or ship delivery, some um, meds this morning. And I've been taking that. And girl, when I say I'm in the bed, like, people call me, I'm like, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> Gone, I like the wind. Um. <coughs> Child. Anyways, <laughs> so I had to go digging through some of my storage items. Um, I had to pull out my lipstick organizer, put out some other organizers just to make space and make life a little easier for me to pick out my lip products. And I'm missing one of the little divider tabs. I don't know what I did with it. <sighs> it's giving ghetto. And, um... I moved my glosses to this organizer here. Um, originally, they were back here, but I moved my actual desk back, so I don't have space to really access. I can't move my desk chair back and forth, basically. I can move it sideways, but not to and fro. So I did that to have more space over here, but which that means I don't have space like over here. 
so I can't really access too many things that are like directly behind me so um, I tried to move out the essentials like the gloves were here I use those all the time so I put them right here um, and right now I just have that camera equipment here and um, I might put more of this like stuff that I don't really use as often in these spaces I decluttered my eyeshadow palettes um, I got rid of like half uh, and I'm just like, I really hope I don't regret doing this. I really hope. And then um, I moved like my, my sunglasses um, collection so that I don't have as much clutter on the floor. Like, your girl's making some changes, okay? She's making some changes. I'm not done yet. Um, but I'll do like a final reveal when everything is complete. Hey, gems. Um... <sighs> Uh, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, well, by the time y'all watch this, Thanksgiving will be long gone. But, uh, your girl is not celebrating today. I have a full work day ahead of me. I'm still trying to get over this cold child, but it is better. Thank goodness. Let me turn this camera because my window is a little open. Hmm. Um... But it is getting better, so I am grateful for that. Child, my whole body is ashy. But I slept in. I didn't plan out my day today, so if I had done that, I woke up earlier. Because <laughs> I'm like, dang! I'm so behind on work and content. Um, Because I wasn't really filming and stuff. Well, I wasn't feeling well. It's really hard to film when you can't breathe and you keep coughing and snot can come out your nose. And it still is, so... Today is going to be real interesting, but either way, I need to get this stuff done. So, um, what am I looking for? Oh, so right now I'm getting ready to film a TikTok for L'Oreal. Um, I have a full filming day ahead of me, so let me not use a dewy makeup primer. Um, just use something that's more. I already have SPF on, and I'm not going outside today, so. Um, so yeah i don't really have a lot of interesting things planned i just have to do this tiktok i have to take a picture in this nightgown for fashion nova um it looks a little spicy though so i have to figure out a way to make it more lifestyle than spicy because that's not the goal so i think i'm gonna put a robe on top of it and take like a <laughs> picture um in the living room next to some pillows and stuff and i think we'll post that tonight um and then i have some product shots to take for anna luisa and i have to create an instagram story frame for them as well i'm not sure what direction i want to go in with that i took a couple product shots earlier um like this morning just kind of see what i was feeling and i feel like they're doable i mean it's cute but it's not like wow you know like ah, what is this <laughs> But yes, yeah, so I'm going to try again um, when I'm done. And if I don't have anything later, if I don't have anything better, then I'll just um, use what I took before. But yeah, I'm really trying to step up my Instagram content, like for real. So, I mean, it's taking more time to plan out the uh, concepts and do more like creative styling and, and product setups and stuff like that. And... Because of a cold, my barber won't cut my hair. Like, it's just... So, I was in the bathroom today trying to, like, touch up. And, you know, I pulled out the rusty, dusty clippers. And I'm just like, child, it's... <sighs> It'll do. But well, that's why I'm like, I really need to go back to cutting my hair. Because I need to get better at it. Because for moments like this when I can't depend on anybody... But I still have work to do. Like, my work can't stop because my hair isn't cut. So, of course, it's the week when I have to do, like, a lot of, like, up close and personal pictures. Because um, I want to do uh, a shot with the Anna Luisa earrings on. Which I need to put on. Um, I really want to wear the hoops. But I feel like for the shot, the, little, the studs will be more, like, glitzy glam. Um, so, let me just go ahead and do that before I start working on this TikTok. These Anna pieces are so freaking cute, y'all, like for real. 
tee, but I feel like I don't want to go double double with the ear cuff. But the ear cuff is so good. They did that for real. They did that. They're usually on the more daintier side, so I was kind of surprised that they had that piece. But I mean, it's still like dainty. It's just like dainty and edgy. Love it. I absolutely love that for me. Oh, I forgot. I put them outside <laughs> for the product shots. Oh, oh, not me on my trimming and falling. What in the? So I have a lot of like Instagram content that needs to go up before this weekend. So by the time y'all see this video, everything should be up on the gram already. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I really don't like doing things so close to their due date, but I wasn't making it. I was not making it. So while y'all out there eating good on Thanksgiving, save me a plate. Um, Cause I'm not gonna have no mac and cheese, no yams, no greens, no rice. Uh, but that's all right though. Because at least nobody's getting sick because of me. So, hey y'all. <laughs> so I just took some pictures and um, I just wanted to show y'all. I am in the middle of doing laundry, but I didn't wash my comforter yet. So I just threw this down. Um, and then I set up my camera here. I don't bring out the big boy often enough, baby, but I need to bring her out more often. So I set it up vertically so that I can take Instagram pictures without having to crop it. And honey, so I really wanted to get like face shots for the Anna Luisa shoot. And um, baby, like she is get ah, 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 ah. Um, girl I, all right let me um i wanted to take close-up shots hold on let me go ahead and show y'all while i scroll through this um i took a couple it's giving um linkedin it's giving website about me picture like it's giving professional headshot um but yeah this was a little too dark i feel like the area doesn't stand out as much in this one um like child I was playing around with the settings, but how come when I play around, I always love these pictures best? Like, when am I gonna be serious? I was like, look at this. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear the earring though? Girl, uh, I'm so childish because why do I love these shots? Look. <laughs> and then look at the last one. Period. <laughs> Why do I love these? Like, what am I gonna grow up? And I'm gonna post it, period. I mean, I'm gonna post the serious one too. But I'm not, you, I have to show a little bit of something. Very much something. But yeah, pro influencer tip. If you don't have the Canon app and you have a Canon com um, camera, you're doing yourself a disservice, I'm telling you. Um, so I don't really like the serious ones, honestly, but maybe I might go with this one. I feel like the earrings are popping, but because it is a smaller, daintier piece, I feel like they don't really like stand out, stand out. You know, I don't want to get too close because yeah, first of all, I have makeup in my hair. My haircut is real mm, crispity. My hair is giving very much carpet, um, but we're going to do what it do, baby. We're going to do it like it's my B-day. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I guess I'll do a serious one as a, um, actually, what do I, I don't know, I don't know what I want to do. So, okay, so I'm going to use the, the flat lays that I took earlier and I'm going to use these, but I don't know what to do for my Instagram frame. Like I usually just like repost a picture or take another picture and post it, but I just want to do something like more va va voom. You know, I'm 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 really trying to step up my content, y'all. Like for real. Like I still want it to be me and still be like goofy, but I want it to be quality. And also like serious at the same time. Like I it's balance, okay? It's not every day play play. Okay? It's it's five out of seven days play. Okay, Jimmy Mug. Let's be serious. But um Yeah, so I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll do like this laughing pick as a first one. The fake laughing jump. And don't mind my nails, y'all. 
the struggle I went through trying to not put my nails into like videos and stuff today. I have the camera cutting off, but anyways, I'm done with you for now. And I took my Fashion Nova picture. Um, I wasn't really in love with it, but it'll do. Cause I told you I wasn't trying to do like nothing spicy. Okay, I I don't know, I don't know. Um, I tried to do sitting down, but my legs was giving dry, and I didn't feel like putting lotion on <laughs> because. There's a very tight space between my bed right here. And so I would have to move the camera out of frame then reposition it and all that stuff. And I was like, I do not want to get up right now. So the sitting one is a fail, but that's fine. I'm just gonna do the standing one. Um, let me show you how it looks. Yeah, so I might do this one. Like, um, like I said, nothing special. Oof, nothing special. Or looking out the window. Yeah, literally nothing special, but I don't, I don't, I want it to be nothing special. I want it to look like a, a regular schmegular picture. Um, and I'm eating bulgogi dawn. Okay, um, I got this yesterday, but I didn't eat it because I wasn't really that hungry. But this is so freaking good. I'm just like, yo, I'm imagining how good this would have been if I'd eaten it fresh. Like the beef is so flavorful. I'm gonna let y'all watch me eat a couple bites. <laughs> It is so, y'all. That's nice. That's nice. My, my nose is leaky. Ugh. Gross. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was good. Mm. I probably got rice and beef in my teeth. Don't look at me. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Where am I going with this bull child? Uh, uh. Sorry, I need to like switch something around my mind. Mm. Mm. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I have to have like three drinks at a time. Technically four. Oh, where's my water? <gasps> where's my water? Okay, so three. I usually have a bottle of water or a cup somewhere around, but it's not here right now. I don't know where she at. Okay, so right now I'm drinking ginger ale because I was sick. Ginger ale is a remedy, period. Um, I'm drinking coconut water because hydration. <laughs> and I'm also drinking coffee because work. Like, why do I need 14 beverages at once and this is always my life like it's actually a problem it's a sickness <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> happy thanksgiving why is this name calling me It's not giving what I'm supposed to have gay. <laughs> Maybe I should just answer. It's probably gonna say happy Thanksgiving. Hola. Happy Thanksgiving.
So I'm done filming for the day. And if you're not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. <laughs> Twitter joke. Not Twitter. Um, TikTok. <laughs> but um, yeah. I miss breathing so much. Um, but I need to plan some of my December content. I need to clean up this mess on the floor. I'm doing laundry now, so I need to put those clothes away as well. I was on Twitter a little bit, but then the post was starting to make me, you know, in my feelings and stuff, and I was like, let me, maybe I should stay on social media, because <laughs> I wish I was at Thanksgiving dinner with somebody doing something, but I'm home. I'll be home for the most part anyway, so, but still, um, why am I in the kitchen? I should clean first, but I really don't want to. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to grab some of my planning stuff. Um, I should be planning right here in my office, but I don't feel like it. Okay, I can't push it off anymore. I am so freaking hungry. Oh, I'm gonna make me that little ramen dish I just said I was gonna make. And just whip that up real quick and get back to work. But child, I am hungry! Ha! <laughs> yes, there you are.
onion throw the first half before so the flavors to mix in and then do the second half after so you still got that crunch that crunch mmm that I'll be talking like I know what I'm doing y'all I'm a step above noodles don't pay me no mind okay HelloFresh be having me acting like real spicy like I know what I'm doing in the kitchen child listen I'm a step above cereal. Don't let the, the, the words fool you. Okay? Since I live in my truth. And the truth is, this is fire. Alright now. Mmm. That's right. <laughs> 